Chapter 3, Lesson 8, Divide Decimals by Decimals. Example 1, find 1.44 divided by 0.8. So 1.44 is going to go underneath the division bar. We're dividing by 0 0.8. So now, when you have a decimal on the outside of the division bar, you want to make it a whole number. So to make this number a whole number, I have to move the decimal to the right one place. So if I do that to the outside number, then you also have to do the same thing to the inside number. So now I'm going to erase what we had. So now the outside number is the whole number 8, and the inside number becomes 14.4. So it's okay if the inside number is not a whole number. We just have to make the outside number a whole number. So now we're divide regularly. So 8 goes into 14 one time which gives us eight. So then we have six, bring down the four. Eight goes into 64 eight times. And now we have to bring up the decimal. So our final answer is 1.8. Find 4.55 divided by 0.7. So 4.55 is underneath the division bar. We have 0.7 on the outside. Now remember, we have to make the number on the outside a whole number, so I have to move the decimal over one place. Whatever I do to the outside number, I have to do to the inside number. And if you want, you can even bring up the decimal right then and there so you don't forget to bring it up. Now we're gonna erase what we had. And now we're gonna divide as we normally would. So seven goes into 45 six times, which equals 42. Subtract and we have three bring down the five. Seven goes into 35 five times. Seven times five is 35. So now we have a final answer of 6.5. Example three, find 48 divided by 0.3. So again, the number on the outside always needs to be a whole number. So I'm gonna move that decimal place over one. So the decimal in a whole number like 48 is at the end and we still have to move that over one place which means we have to fill in that empty spot with a zero. Now I'm gonna erase what we have. So now we have 480 divided by three. So now three goes into four one time. Three goes into 18 six times. And then three goes into zero, zero times, carry up the decimal. So because the decimal's at the back of the number, it's just 160 as a whole number. Example four, find 0 0.007 divided by 0.14. So we have 0 0.007 divided by 0.14. So I have to move the decimal two places to the right to make it a whole number. That means I have also have to move this two places to the right. So now we have 0.7 divided by 14. So 14 does not go into 7, so we have to add a 0 after the 7, and 14 goes into 70 five times. So 14 times 5 gives us 70. And now we carry up the decimal and fill in the empty space with a zero. So now the answer to this is 0 0.05. So where there are zeros, 14 doesn't go into those zeros, so we just add zeros. Pause the video here and try these yourself to check for understanding, then press play to check your answers.
Example 6. How many times as many people are in the United States than in Italy? Round to the nearest tenth. So in the United States, there are 321.1 million people. And in Italy, there are 60.6 .6 million. So we can divide the amount of people in the United States by the amount of people in Italy to see how many times bigger the United States population is. So we have to make the number on the outside a whole number. So I'm going to move the decimal to the right one and do the same to the number under the division bar. Now we're going to erase what we have just to make it easier for us. So now we're going to have 3,211 divided by 606. So 606 goes into 3,211 five times, which equals 3,030. So now we're going to have to borrow. We get 11 and 1. So now we have 8 and 1. So now we're going to add a 0, bring it down. So now we have to see how many times 606 goes into 1,810. So 606 goes into this 2 times, which equals 1,212. We're going to borrow again. So we're going to have 10, 0. Now we have to borrow from this 8. We're going to get 7 and 10. So now we have 8, 9, 5. So now if we bring up the decimal, the 2 is in the tens place, and this says round to the nearest tenth. So we have to find the next number after that to see what we need to round the 2 to. So now we have to add one more zero and see how many times 606 goes into 5,980. And it goes in nine times. So we can stop there because we're rounding to the nearest tenth. So the two is in the tens place. So we have to look at the number after it. And if the number after the two is five or bigger, then we round the two up. So that means there's about 5.3 times more people in the U.S. than there is in Italy.